Hey guys, Alex here from Bevelish Creations. Today I'm going to show you how I built this large walnut standing desk for my home office. Let's get started. The first thing I need to do is get these two beautiful slabs flattened using my router jig. After securing them in place with some shims and hot glue, I put the Amana RC2261 slab flattening bit in my router and we're ready to start. With its 2.5 inch cutting diameter and 3 unique solid carbide insert knives with chamfer corners, it flattened the first side quickly and created a flawless surface. And then I can flip the slab over, remove the shims, and repeat the process for the other side. Once both slabs are flat on both sides, it's time to lay out the design of the desktop. For this, I placed a template made from scrap MDF on top of the slabs and marked the cut lines before breaking the pieces down using my track saw. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so that you'll be notified on all of the new videos when they're released. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Tools Today. Next, I used a chisel and 80 grit sandpaper to clean up the bark and other loose pieces from the slabs. And then it's time to lay the pieces out in the form and pour the epoxy. After allowing the epoxy to cure for a week, I broke the part out of the mold and it's back on the jig for more flattening. And once again, the RC2261 flattening bit did an amazing job cleaning up the workpiece and revealing the beautiful contrast between the sapwood and the black epoxy. Now, let's use the track saw to cut the tabletop down to its final size. And with the track saw still set up, I added a 40 degree chamfer along the bottom edge of the entire tabletop to give it a slimmer look. Now, let's add some C channels to the bottom surface to keep the tabletop flat. To do this, I'm going to use the Amana quarter inch spiral bit to cut the grooves for the flanges to nest in. And then I swapped over to the Amana half inch spiral bit to cut the recess so the web surface will sit flush to the table surface and then assembled everything using bolts. Next I used the Amana quarter inch compression bit on my CNC to cut the template for the built in wireless charger. The compression bit will leave a clean cut along both the top and bottom surfaces of the MDF, making an ideal tool for this type of work. The template is then attached to the tabletop with double-sided tape and then I use the Amana quarter inch spiral bit again to cut the pocket for the wireless charger to fit into seamlessly. And lastly, I sanded the entire tabletop from 80 grit all the way up to 320 grit to prepare for finish. And then I moved on to making the drawer. As usual, I'm using the Amana Prestige General Purpose Blade at the table saw to break down the work pieces. And then I swapped over to the Amana Prestige Dado Set to cut the rabbits along both ends of the side panels for joining the drawer box. And with the dado set still in my table saw, I cut the notches in the drawer back panel to create the clearance for the undermount drawer slides that I'll be using. And then let's put everything together using some glue and brad nails.
The drawer box will just be simply mounted to two side pieces attached underneath the tabletop using pocket screws and glue, which is what I'm making here. Alright, and the last thing left to do is to carve a drawer front with some wavy 3D patterns on my CNC. Now to do this, I started with the amount of quarter inch spiral bit and the 3D adaptive clearing toolpath to remove the bulk of the material. And then I swapped over to my Amana 8th inch radius ball nose bit with a 3D parallel toolpath to smooth out the final shape. And after cutting it to its final size at the table saw, I finish everything with some oldies oil to bring the wood to life. And finally, I attach the desk to a motorized standing desk frame using bolts to complete the entire desk. Thank you guys so much for watching and thanks to Tools Today for sponsoring this video and helping me bring my dream desk to life. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, if you guys like this video, subscribe below and click over here for more great videos.